Hey my friends, what's going on? It's Ultimus, yet again, more warrior PvP, this time still with the survival hunter friend I made, this time up against a survival hunter enhancement shaman. So basically what we got here is two-thirds of a KFC versus two-thirds of a Beast Cleave, essentially, uh, except I think Beast Cleave runs with Beast Mastery Hunter. Either way, the point is, uh, both teams here are going to have a lot of damage, although it was really funny to watch that Shaman go running off the edge there because he got blasted back from my Hunter's Trap. Luckily, my Hunter's going to get the Interrupt on that heal back there, so I don't have to worry about it. So I still have my Interrupt. There's the Stormbolt going to trinket this to stay on the Shaman. Don't want him running away and healing. And between the damage the executes, that's it. The Shaman goes down. Um, I feel like that match could have gone a lot better for the Shaman and the Hunter. Um, I'm not really sure if the Shaman got a little thrown off by some of the pressure that was going off. But, uh, yeah, he went down super duper quick. Unfortunately, my Hunter is falling rather quickly as well. So now this is turning into a scary 1v1. And by scary, um, simply because I never really do too well against Hunter solo play. I do have the cooldown and HP advantage at the moment because I still have my Spell Reflect back up and now I have my Enraged Regen. So I'm just going to work on getting back down to the Hunter. There's the leap to the Siege Breaker. I was hoping I was going to kill him there, but I ended up not quite getting it. I was thinking that was going to be really, really dope if I could pull that off, but I didn't. So that was a slightly lackluster, but as he tried to disengage, I smacked him upside the head real quick there. So that was pretty cool. Lots of fun that match, no lie. Really happy with how that came out. Uh, taking a look at my glyphs there briefly for this match, but I uh, decided that it was worth keeping. Although, I forgot to mount up. That's a little awkward. Balance Druid Death Knight. Scary just because I hate Balance Druids. That's all there is to it for that one. Balance Druids can mess me up so very quickly. So, just for kicks and giggles, I'm playing the pillar game with this Death Knight. Just trying to frustrate him. He's already off, but we're going to just walk right in there and we're going to start attacking. Just so we can start building up our rage and everything. There's the Druid right over there. Caught my buddy in the cycle. My buddy's going to trinket though. Got Spell Reflect up, which is going to help a lot. I'm pretty sure I caught that Star Surge Reflect. And the Boomkin is just going down insanely quick. Uh, one of the most helpful things that I've found recently in twos, at least as an Arms Warrior, is taking Warbringer. Um, I generally like the Double Time talent because I like the faster mobility. But overall, just with the current state of the game um, and where things are at, I'm finding that the Warbringer stun is just far too useful. It gives me an extra second or so to pump damage into the target. Um, my big strategy there was, of course, getting out of the Death Knights for Morseless Winter so I didn't get caught in that freeze. Nothing really too skilled there, just wanted to move out of the way. Death Knight's still doing a lot of damage, so trying to be somewhat smart here and not just be dumb. Uh, so defensive stance it is with the shield blocks and shield absorbs. Luckily, he goes down rather quickly there at the end. Overall, pretty happy with how those last two matches went. Now, this time up against a Rep Paladin Feral Druid. And this, again, to just huge burst class. Like, if they wanted to, they could probably kill one of us in the opener, really. Um, luckily, that doesn't go that well for them. Check out how this match goes. I'm actually really happy with how this one came out. So they made the opener. Damage into the Paladin, I'm going to... I'm not going to fear, obviously, because I have Siege Breaker, so we just wanted to swap over to the Druid. Now, Druid take a butt ton of damage from the Siege Breaker and the Burst, and down he goes without being able to really even do too much about it. Unfortunately, my Hunter took a lot of damage. Um, what was very, very helpful for us was being able to put as much damage as we did into the Paladin right away, because that uh, gave us a lot of wiggle room to mess with the Druid, because then the Druid wasn't able to focus on healing the Paladin and all of those things like that. So very happy with how that went. That Again, that was one of those matches that could have went very, very differently, but it didn't. So last but not least, we have Windwalker Monk Beast Mastery Hunter. Now, I'm including this match because it's really, really funny because this is actually a guildy of mine, Santa Beard. Um, he's a good old chap. He's a good egg, but he's he's an interesting one, that's for sure. But I do, I do like him. He's a good guy. So we are up against the Monk here, just loading as much damage as we can. He's already popped a couple cooldowns and trying to get away. He still has Karma up, so that's a little bit scary. Wanted to get back on top of him as best as possible to keep him from interrupting and um, healing. I was going to pop the trinket there to pop out of the CC, but I ended up getting CC'd again and he was caught in that leg sweep. So not the best move on my part, uh, but there's really much, only so much I could do. And the monk ended up going down really, really quickly anyways. And so now it's me and the hunter versus poor old Santa Beard. Uh, luckily, I was able to get the victory rush off, which helped. And now it's just the old kiting game. And he's running away from me, of course, because I still have cooldowns up. And I don't think I'm going to make contact with him another time before cooldowns wear off. Which is unfortunate. 
he does still have a deter two deterrence actually I should say not a deterrence but two deterrence uh, caught in this trap oh my gosh I hate this trap so much uh, and I attempt to be polite I did salute him as a guild member anyways because I didn't want to be too rude and then going in for that smack cute there but that is going to do it for those matches. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.